Here we go then. There we are. All right. Are you ready, Uncle? Handbrake down. Off we go to Dresden. Oh, yeah, that's that's much smoother now that it's got the optimal oil mixture. And so begins our journey. So I drive on the uh, this side of the road to Dresden. Head towards Dresden. We'll be travelling the autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get to grips with the Laker. Ah, on the open road. Ugh. Oh, that's actually counting the kilometres I've ever driven. So from the first journey as well. <sighs> right, Dresden. So, you see, I'm not a very good driver in games. You know, I can get the hang of it, but on Euro Truck, I am a danger. I am a menace on the roads. And uh, the, the part of the reason I never really liked Euro Truck Simulator that much, I've got like 30 hours in it, but that's not really much. I never got very far. And uh, I, I've barely played it since they added the achievements. And it's because it... I was talking to Scott about driving sims. He was saying that the reason he doesn't like them is because they don't have a, a goal. I should probably be sticking to the speed limit. Then again, there is no speed limit on German ones, is there? Let's check around, all clear. See, I'm going to drive a lot more sensibly this time. Because it matters whether I crash and ruin everything. Um... Yeah, he was saying that there, he doesn't like ones with no end goal. And this one does. This one has a full story to it. Is this the right... I, I went the wrong way round, didn't I? Did I go the wrong way round? I think I went the wrong way round the, uh, the, the roundabout. Whoops. That explains why I had to cross, weirdly. I assume this is the right way. I assume the way that the generation works is there is only one road, but the road you choose changes the road that spawns. I assume that's how it goes. Is that right, Uncle? You know, it's a curious feeling. Well, that was creepy. Being on the road again after such a long time. All those years in the GDR. Greenwich Ditch Racers. You were a member of the Greenwich Ditch Racers. God, Uncle, you never told me about that. If you told me those stories, I might not have hated visiting you so much. No. Oh, crap! <laughs> I'm trying to roll down the window. Ah, oh, I can adjust the mirror. I tried to roll down the window. I just opened the fucking door at full speed. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, st oh, there's crap all over my window. I'm still a menace. I know I wasn't born there, but I found a belonging I'm not experienced in any other time of my life. Being one of the people, like a family, all working together for each other. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. Are you a communist? Is that not something I'm allowed to ask? I should have brought the bucket and bloody bucket of water, shouldn't I? Might not have had space for it. So tell me more about your time in the uh, Greenwich Greenwich Ditch Racers. How was that? Well, you see, we used to go around Greenwich in London. Uh, it was a simpler time. We were bombing them. So, you know, they, they didn't tell us off for the dangerous street racing. Hmm. It's an odd story. I'm not sure I believe you. That's fine. Most of it's made up. Which which part isn't? That Greenwich is in London? Mm, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a very chill series. Kind of like Submerged. I've, uh, I never knew I'd like games like Submerged and uh, Jalopy. Just like stress-free games, mostly. Well, with the wall down, it shouldn't be long till we see reunification. A literal separation of people for, what has it been, 29 years? 
Yes, 29 years. Oh my. How much people must have changed. I, yeah, I never knew I'd like games like this. Why is my engine suffering? Tell me it's just straining to get up the hill. Uh, please stop smoking, please stop smoking, please stop smoking. What the fuck's wrong with it? What's wrong with my engine? I haven't crashed. He hasn't complained about me crashing at all. I've still got half my fuel left. What the what the hell's the issue? Oh, I'm gonna have to stop and check. Right, just pull over. What the hell's the issue? Just yeah, check, check before I just open the door into traffic. Oh, pop. oh God! Just thwack. I'm just whacking the bloody thing. What's the issue? What's the issue? Air filter's crap. Carburetor's crap. And the engine's crap. Go around! Look. Go around! Hazard lights on. You know what that means. Actually, can you help me? Excuse me. I want to say, sir? You have a moustache. Can you stop beeping and go around? You know, we're clearly having issues. What about you, identical sir, who looks a bit more stressed? Can I loot anything? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, maybe jump. Um... Hmm. Do you mind? Doing repairs. I kind of thought I'd be safe on this side of the road. Alright, that improved the, the... The durability. Alright, well that's that used up now. But my car's back up to... Why does that make a skidding sound? The car's back up to full... Uh, Full goodness now. Uh, what was the lights? That one. Okay. Oh, handbrake. God, they're so whiny, those guys. Right, I'll go on the in inside lane. Why the hell they didn't bloody overtake me when they saw a stopped car on the outside lane, I don't know. Ugh, so rude, aren't they, Uncle? Well, I've just done my first... Okay, just interrupt me then. We didn't think the division would ever escalate to what it did. But it did, practically overnight. Man, he's just going to tell his story very, very slowly over a long period, I guess. Oh, pothole. Got to avoid them. Um, yeah, so I've just done my first roadside repairs. I didn't think I'd have to do them on the first bloody day, Uncle, with your shit car. Can't go that way. <sighs> How far are we from Dresden? 13 miles, is that? 13... Oh, it's in kilometres, isn't it? Is it 13 kilometres? Oh, God! <laughs> I have a horn. I never played with that. See, most people don't have to stare at the horn to beep it. I hope I didn't damage something with that bloody abrupt stop. Mm. I think with this... Okay. Go past. We can get to a petrol station if we turn off here. It would be a good idea to stop for fuel. Okay. Oh, hell. I don't like how tight this is. Tight things scare me. Don't say a word, Uncle. Le one mark per litre. All new tyres now available for purchase. Choose from slick, wet or off-road tyres in either soft, medium or hard compound. What the fuck do they mean, Uncle? Not going to tell me, are you? Here? Alright. 
Should always pull the handbrake first. Right. Pop the bonnet. Ugh. Oh, good. I can repair and uh, clean up. You got some shit on your face, Uncle. Oh, wait. That's just your face. Ah, I see. Take the sponge. Can I... Can I clean any more? Use this, use this to clean the car of dirt and grime. Use the sponge on the bucket to clean away any dirt it collects. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so cool. Right, nice clean car. Didn't mean it. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, crap, I'm gonna have to pop it again. Uh, pop that. Uh, oh, I can actually. Mm hmm. Yoink. Whoops. I didn't mean to put that in there. Right, how are we doing on fuel? Two of ten. The door's closing. All on its own. Can I have another? Oh, it is full. Okay. Uh, and I'll need to mix that back up again. Uh, two stroke oil. See, this is the sort of thing I should have been doing last time. Lean. Optimal. Good. Alright, that's most of my oil gone now. Put that back in there. Cool. Uh, uh, water. Water's fine. Alright. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. Wow, sorry, I gave you entirely the wrong voice. When you have nothing, uh, every, enough, in nothing you need. When you have nothing you need, you can pay by using your wallet. I'll go grab my wallet. One of my lights isn't working. Uncle, seriously, this car you've given me is utter shit. I didn't mean to roll that down. I'll get it from the other side. <sighs> Uh, that one. Right. Oh. Do you want anything? Snack? Drink? No, alright. Had to ask. Mute bastard. Right. <sighs> Hello. Can I turn the light on? Oh, the light was on. Can I turn the light back on? No. Worth a try. Uh... Wine, an alcoholic drink, uh, medicine. I'm probably not going to be able to take any of this over the border. Our oh, crowbar. A uh, car jack, I actually brought mine with me. A tyre repair kit and an engine repair kit. Oh, wow, okay. Sausages. Typically pork encased in intestines. That shouldn't be making me hungry. Uh, water. I don't think I need anything. I, I could do with a repair kit. I don't need the bucket of water. But a repair kit is fucking essential. Uh, what lever? Oh, that lever. Uh... Where the... No, I, actually, I do want the repair kit. Where's my wallet gone? Where's all the stuff? This game is bugged out again. See, look, that's highlighted. Why is that highlighted? I think that's bugged out. I'm fairly sure that's bugged out. Okay, I didn't buy it. It's not going to let me buy it.
I'm going to buy the crowbar, though. I did it again. I dropped my fucking wallet. And the crowbar. How do I pay for this crap? I drop it and it just fucking vanishes. Excuse me. I don't know what I'm doing. She said drop it through the window, didn't she? Oh, I think I have to use it on that because that highlighted. Alright, let's try this again. I go. I thwack the door. I pick up the wallet. I go back in. Ignore the magical highlighted repair kit. Pick up the wallet. The, the crowbar. Switch to the crowbar. Ching. Fantastic. That's how I do it. Right. Can I pick this up yet? No. I flatly cannot pick that up. Well, I think that space... Alright, thanks. I think that space in the uh, boot is for this. Or not, apparently. Let's drop that. Can I nick this? Does that not fit? That looks like that should fit the bloody crowbar, but no. Alright, I'll leave that then. You good, Uncle? Oh, I missed a bit of dirt. I just want the sponge. Oh, yeah. Do be do be do be do do be do 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 be do. I think that's everything. Cool. Thanks for the water. Uh, I should be okay. I should be able to buy um, new oil at the next place. Hopefully, after I've earned a bit of money. How do I earn money, you uncle? You kill people, and people will pay very highly for that. Can I earn money in a less violent way? Why do you always say that? Why do you always say that? Uh, right, just reverse. Dresden. Oh, that might be the road number 13. Alright, well that was a nice little stop off. Hopefully, I am good now for a bit. Check before I merge. Cool. Right. And we're back on the road. And my lights are still on, which is good. <sighs> so, how are you feeling, Uncle? You looking forward to our great journey into the uh, to the dark beyond of Germany? Our, our Germany journey. Our Germany. Anyway, there's Dresden ahead. Right, so I'll try going this way round the roundabout this time. Ah, uh, see, look, there are lots of roads that are blocked off, and I wonder if they're the alternate paths on the um, the procedural generation thing. Let's head to the motel. We'll be able to cross the border tomorrow. You see, I'm wondering about what the hell is that? What the hell? Why are there random things floating in the sky? I think this game's bugging out again. Um. I'm wondering about how the day-night cycle works, because I think it's going to stay dark until I sleep at a motel. And then after I wake up in the morning, it begins the new sort of thing. Ah, there's no Laker thing there this time. But the motel isn't here either. Ah, there's the motel. Thank God I turned... Excuse me. Thank God I turned right. You gonna tell me there's the motel? No? Okay. There's the motel. Park outside the front. Okay. Oh! Alright. Take that off. And break. Okay, good. Let's check in. Alright. Bring the wallet. Oh, having a bit of trouble there, Uncle. Oh, I missed a bit of crap. Oh, that's new. I think it's new. Ugh. He's having a bit of trouble walking. My tyres are in bad condition. 
uh, not a great parking job either. There's quite a sloppy parking job. But I was nervous by how close to the wall I was. 